Destiny 2 into the Light Developer Livestream 3 recap. Earlier this week, we shared some additional details about Destiny 2 into the Light with our third livestream. This included details about two reprised exotic missions, a look at the new Crucible PvP maps coming in May, the announcement of the Pantheon PV Challenge, updates to the new Light Experience character recustomization, and more. Here is a quick summary of almost everything we shared. We aren't covering the PvP aspects in this video. We will be covering PvP in a separate video in order to give it the attention it needs. This will include Iron Banner, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe with the bell notification on in order to make sure you don't miss out on the PvP-centric video. Reprised Exotic Missions, we announced the reprised versions of two classic exotic missions, The Whisper and Zero Hour. These reprised versions will retain some familiar elements of the classic missions, but you'll also find updated puzzles, encounters, rewards, and triumphs, as well as new secrets to discover on Legend difficulty. The Whisper will be available on April 9th, with the launch of Destiny 2 into the Light and Zero Hour will be available in May. The Whisper Eris Morn wants to pick your brain. Nothing creepy, she just thought she could use your memories to shape an updated version of a weapon that would be very useful against the Witness. Yes, it's Whisper of the Worm, the exotic sniper rifle that lives in your power weapon slot. Just be careful when jumping around in the dark, because sometimes we don't remember things like they used to be. And you don't want to. Drown in. The Deep. Zero Hour 81 has a mission for you. You need to go back to the old tower, take down some fallen pirates that want to get a hold on a very powerful weapon of our past, and maybe, just maybe, face a scary robot called TR3VR that feels very lonely and wants to give Guardians a hug? The updated and craftable Outbreak Perfected Exotic Pulse Rifle is waiting for those who manage to avoid him and finish on time. Additional crafting options. After obtaining the exotic weapon from each of these reprised missions, new quests will become available. This will allow you to unlock additional crafting options, including upgrading each weapon's unique intrinsic behaviors. A new quest will become available each week for three weeks. Reprise ships in addition to the new exotic weapons you'll earn, you can also earn reprised versions of the classic ships. The Whisper will offer a new ship with an updated look, Carve of the Worm, inspired by a thousand wings, while Zero Hour will offer Bimana Junker, also with an updated look built on the frame of Scrap CF71791 and inspired by Outbreak Perfected. Pantheon, we shared a few words about Pantheon, the new raid boss gauntlet starting on April 30th. In Pantheon, you'll have the opportunity to face raid bosses in a weekly challenge with escalating difficulties and rewards. This is a chance to rally your clan or use Fireteam Finder to take on this challenge. We'll have more details as we get closer to the release. Character recustomization in our January 18th TWID, we revealed our plans to add character recustomization to Destiny 2 before the launch of the final shape. During this week's live stream, we announced that character recustomization will be coming with Destiny 2 into the light on April 9th. With this update, you'll be able to modify the appearance of your guardians anytime without cost or limits to the number of changes. To do so, simply launch Destiny 2, and you'll notice a new option when you hover over a character at the character selection screen. While you can change the body type, face, hair, head, and markings, keep in mind it won't be possible to change from one origin to another, i.e. human, exo, or awoken. Additional name change available Destiny 2 into the light will also bring the option for an additional one-time name change to all players at no cost on April 9th. I will be releasing an additional video on this subject to give a more detailed account of what this will entitle. New Light Tutorial Experience, we also shared details on some updates we're bringing to the New Light Experience and the way players can choose to interact with it. If you missed our live stream, we have a full breakdown below, after the weapons balance update. Reduced Strand Fragments cost, starting with Destiny 2 into the light on April 9th, we're reducing the cost of Strand Fragments from 200 Strand Meditations to 100. We hope this change allows players to catch up on any missing fragments for their strand builds as you all prepare for the final shape. New light tutorial skip and new light kit we're calling guardians of all experience levels to join, rejoin, and bring friends to battle against the witness. While the new light campaign serves players new to games like Destiny 2, it might not fit those players already experienced with first-person shooters. Ride to the tower with an Arcadia class ticket starting in Destiny 2 into the light. After completing the second new light mission, Shaw Han will ask you to sync with his ship in the Cosmodrome, 
providing a new option to leave the new light tutorial early and head straight to the tower. The option to skip the tutorial will remain for the rest of your time in the Cosmodrome and no matter when you leave, you will still receive critical rewards like your ship and your sparrow, so don't worry about missing out if you decide to skip. The ship will remain in the Cosmodrome for the duration of a Guardian Rises, so players who choose not to skip immediately can do so at any time afterwards. There's tools for the job new light kits to help bridge the power gap between new Guardians and our more seasoned defenders. Players will now be able to head to the tower and choose a kit handpick from the Korra and the Vanguard. New light kits are bundles that contain a curated set of gear and subclass abilities. These kits are themed around specific subclass fantasies to help provide players with a shortcut to build crafting and give them a taste of that sweet, sweet space magic. There are nine kits in all, one for each light subclass. Players can claim one per class. Enjoy! Each new light kit contains two legendary weapons, one exotic weapon, four rare armor pieces, and a legendary class item. Subclass abilities such as aspects and fragments. In addition, new light kits will also grant players a short quest that, when completed, will grant them a piece of exotic armor. New light kits will be available to all players, so whether you're a new light looking to gear up, a returning player looking to step into the modern sandbox, or a veteran looking to jumpstart a new character, Ikora will help you prepare for the fight ahead against the witness. New Light Experience wallpapers to celebrate the upcoming updates to the New Light Experience. We've got some seriously sweet wallpapers for you to enjoy. Find these wallpapers at Bungie.net. Please enjoy this quick preview of most of the wallpapers. There are 16 by 9 resolution and crop ones prepared for your mobile devices as well as 4K variants for both. Take your pick. Updating the default chat experience with Destiny 2 into the light. We are making some changes to the default chat experience to allow players to connect with other players more easily by creating a more social experience. On April 9th, we'll be updating text chat to auto-join chat channels by default. When you log in, you'll immediately see other players chatting in-game and can jump right into the conversation. Players will also default to auto-join voice chat when in the fire team or fire team lobby. Voice chat for local and team channels will still be off by default. As part of this update, we'll also be updating our text chat language filtering rules. We'll continue to monitor and audit their performance. For more information on our language filters, visit our text-based language filtering pay key. Some players may see chat off by default after the update. This is intentional for our younger players. For more information, please visit our date of birth requirements for Destiny 2 and Bungie services. If you'd like to see what options you have for your account or change available settings, you can visit Settings and go under the Social tab to view or change your text and voice chat status. Onslaught Legend Challenge with the release of Destiny 2 into the light on April 9th comes the new PV wave-based defensive activity, Onslaught. To celebrate the release, we're looking to reward Guardians who are among the first to conquer the mode on its highest difficulty. Details starting on April 9th when Update 7.3.6 goes live. The first three fire teams to complete all 50 waves on Legend difficulty will receive a Lord Shack 7 inch mini replica helmet per fire team member, three per team total. We will announce the winners in next week's tweet and will reach out to the winners shortly after on Bungie.net. This challenge is available to players in the US and Canada. You can get the full details on our rules and eligibility page. Show us what you're made of, Guardians. Now please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe. There are so many of you that are not subscribed. Any suggestions on how I can make these videos more enjoyable or engaging, make sure you comment below. So last but not least, share this video to your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, or your best friend. Thanks for watching, and eyes up, Guardians.